coming, Dad. Oh. I'm sorry. Who let you in here? I don't do charity. This is outrageous. Go away. I I'm sorry. I think this is belongs to Mr. Ronald Copeland. I'm sorry. There's the address on the ID. Do you know him? That's my father. I will give it to him. Thank you. Excuse me, miss. But maybe do you have any food? Not for me, but just for her. What the? I, I don't do charity. My father will come soon, and if he sees you... Hey, sweetie. What's going on? Hi, my name is Ronald. Nate. <laughs> Nate, nice to meet you. So, Nate, uh, what are you doing here? Do you need something? <clears throat> I, I just found your wallet on the street and came to return it. Wow, you saved my life. That's fantastic. I've been looking for this all day. Oh, I was going to cancel my credit cards tonight. Do you believe that? He probably stole it himself. I'm sure. Take the money. Sandra. All the money is here. Sweetie, you've got to stop judging people so quickly. Why don't you guys join us for dinner, huh? You and your daughter. What do you say? Dad, are you kidding? Come on in, please. Go ahead, go ahead. Make yourself at home. Listen, the washroom's to the left. Come on in. Come on in, guys. Sit down. Please. Nate, why don't you sit right over here? Uh, not so fast, not so fast. What are you doing? Sandra, what are you... Done. Here. Nate, why don't you sit beside me? And uh, Sandra, you can have my seat. I think we need to call the cleaning company in this morning. <laughs> oh, Nate, she gets an obsession with cleanliness for her mother. Yeah. Dad, don't. Sandra, what's this? What are you doing? We only have dishes for two. Oh, I've got a great idea. Why don't we use those beautiful dishes that I got you for your birthday? Huh? We'll give them to our guests. Indeed, how could I forget? May I? Get your filthy hands away. Sit down. I just want to... Sit down! Sit down! Sandra! Please. Amazing. Mm, thanks. I will burn this later. Excuse me, sir, miss. Would you mind if I would say a little prayer before meal? No, no, go ahead, Nate, please. Thank you. Do you thank God for being poor too? We don't know what awaits us along the way, but I believe that kindness can guide us through any darkness. Oh, I see. Nate, why don't you tell us a bit about yourself? As you can see, we, me and my daughter, we, we are not having the best time in our lives right now. Mm, don't you say? But it wasn't all time like this. No, sir. I used to go to work like everybody else. We had our own house. Under the bridge. Emily went to school, and I never thought we'd be in position like this. What happened? Did you get lazy, go out for a walk, and get sucked in? Sandra! Your wife left you for a richer man, and you... you couldn't find a better place? Sandra! My father would never, never let this happen. Shut your mouth. You shut up! Do you hear me? You're wrong. It could happen to anyone. Nate, I'm sorry. I, 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 please, let me apologize for my daughter. It's, it's not her fault. It's my fault. I, I worked too much when I was younger, and obviously there's problems with my, my parenting. When my... When Sandra's mother passed away... Dad. When Sandra's mother passed away, we found ourselves in the same situation as you. That's right. I, I got lost in the tragedy. I, I was drowning. I, I lost my job. Lost my house, lost all my friends, I lost everything, and I ended up in the street with, with my little girl. Sweetie, do you remember when you were younger and we used to go camping? Yes. And do you remember when I made up all those stories about why we were coming back home? That we were treasure hunters or 
or deep sea divers. It was because we were homeless. Homeless? It's because we were homeless, sweetie. So, Dad, how, how did we... But how did we get back on our feet? Well, see, we got back on our feet is because of, because of good people. You know, I remember when we were out on the street, it was cold, and this, this man came up to us, you know? Out of the blue, and, uh, he offered us dinner. He took us out to dinner, and he offered me a job. Do you believe it? Just like that, offered me a job, and it, it, it changed our lives, totally. So when I saw Nate today standing in the doorway, I knew that it was my chance to pay it back. And he's right. You know, he's right that in life. We never know what's around the corner. Never. And goodness and kindness, it can get you through any kind of darkness. Any kind. So, Nate. Yeah? What do you say? You want to come work for me? I could really use a driver. Somebody reliable. Yes, of course. Uh, I mean, yes, I, I could. Uh, uh, sorry, I interrupt you. Uh, yes. That's all right. That's all right. And uh, I could help you guys out with a place to stay until you can handle it yourself, until you get back up on your feet. Thank you. I mean, I'm very thankful for you. I won't let you down. I'm Thank sure you won't. I'm Thanks. sure you won't. Sweetie, okay? Yeah, I'm... Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry for all of that. I wasn't fair to, to you and little Emily. I'm sorry. It's not a problem. It's okay. It's really okay. Do you want some tea? <laughs> Thank you, Dad. It's okay.